As we all know, sometimes the perspective and space designed by users are perfect, and the combination of furniture and decoration is cool, but they cannot accurately present the picture they want. These problems come from rendering. Therefore, in this video, we will solve the problem of rendering images for users. First, in the Aspect Ratios option, you can select the appropriate field of view, which is a critical step. Secondly, Kuhome provides users with a lot of lighting that comes with the system, such as indoor daytime, indoor night, etc. You can adjust the intensity of indoor and outdoor lighting as well as lighting effects, etc. If you don't like the way Kuhome provides you with lighting, you need to manually adjust it yourself. Click Customize and you can design a set of lighting effects you like. At this moment, I choose to use Kuhome's built-in indoor night light as the basis and the sunlight option is turned off at this time. You can also adjust the intensity of sunlight, lighting angle, shadow softness, etc. During the day, the key point is the design of the lighting. You need to illuminate the walls that may be dark or place spotlights in places you want to highlight.
there are various types of environment maps in Kuhome's system. If you want other types of maps, you can also download or make them yourself and upload them to Kuhome for use. Fourth, you need to constantly adjust the various parameters in the toolbar on the right side of the screen to ensure that your screen is in a more harmonious position. Usually, in a relatively open living room, we mostly use a head-on angle to render. If you are observing from the perspective of a tall resident, you can also use a slightly overhead angle. Fifth, when you are not sure whether your lighting, viewing angle, etc. meet your needs, you can choose a lower image quality in the resolution option for testing. If the test results are satisfactory, you can change to the clearest high quality rendering of the final image. You can save your favorite angle and find it in the Angle Save option in the lower right corner of the screen for easy use.
Finally, when you render a suitable image, you can beautify the image, adjust filters, brightness and saturation, etc. Don't forget to save your rendering.